Yeah, first of all, special congratulations to my man, Donald J. Trump. I call him DJ Trump. You know, special congratulations to him for the victory in that uh, U.S. election 2024. You know, I just want us to talk a little about that uh, U.S. election and also to send a message to that uh, our INEC, the Independent National Electoral Commission in Nigeria. You know, to the chairman of that board in particular, Professor Mahmoud Yakub. The picture you are seeing on the screen is um, where I was uh, following that uh, election, the site where I was watching the election live as it was going on. If you had followed that particular election on that site, as people were voting, you'll be seeing the numbers counting there. You know, I just want to kind of uh, send this message to Professor Mahmoud Yakub, the INEC chairman in Nigeria, that they need to study that particular way they handle their election in the United States and many other developed countries. This is exactly what I have been saying, that we are supposed to have got to the level where we will have this kind of transparency in our electoral system. We are supposed to have got to that level where we will be seeing everything play out like this. You know, if we think we, as in, if we think of progressing as a country, we are supposed to adopt this pattern of election, this electoral process, where as people are voting, you are watching everything. If you are winning, it will be very, very clear to you, as transparent as the day that you are winning. If you are failing, you will see it by yourself that you are failing, that it is not anybody that is making you fail, but maybe you were not able to convince the public to vote for you more. You know, we are supposed to have got to this level where everything will be very, very transparent. So this is a call to Professor Mahmoud Yakub, Because everybody can obviously remember what happened during that 2023 election. That the people did not get the result of their vote. That the result of the, the 2023 election did not come out as the people voted. It was changed. It was rigged. Very, very obvious. Very clear. You know? These people are supposed to work on that, that electoral board so perfect that there should never be anything like technical glitch during elections. You know, this is something that was handled by a, the same electoral board we have in Nigeria. And that is one of the reasons why I call upon that Professor Mahmoud Yakub to send his men to study, to go and learn work, learn how most of all these things are being done. If it is that the people in charge of that particular electoral process or electoral body in Nigeria do not know how to handle it perfectly, learn from other professionals to know how things, as in to, to put the, the, the country in the right way, honestly. I, I also want to kind of a call on the attention of the Nigerian people. We need better electoral reform in Nigeria. If we do not make a serious, as in if we, not, if we do not make a serious demand for serious electoral reform in Nigeria as a people, nothing is going to change. They will never make any change in that particular system. Because obviously most of them are enjoying it because whenever election time comes, it is a cash out time. So until the people demand for positive electoral reform, they will never make anyone. You know? So this is also a call on the Nigerian people to make sure that at the end of the day, we come together as a people to effect changes, serious changes on that particular electoral body. Because that is from where everything in the country comes. It is supposed to be at that level that the people will listen to whatever candidate that is involved in the election. Listen to what they have for the people. Whichever person you think you are convinced enough that his own option is the best, then you go ahead and vote for the person, knowing fully well that you, your vote will count. Not like what we have in Nigeria presently, where once you bring money, you win. If you are able to bring more money, you win. You know? And that is one of the processes that brings out incompetent people, that puts incompetent people in different sensitive positions that is supposed to have capable people to move the face of the nation forward. You know? We are supposed to get involved to make this kind of demand that there, be, that there should be a serious electoral reform in Nigeria where most of all these things you are seeing on the screen, like this kind of picture where as you are voting, you are seeing everything. There will be nothing like technical glitch from anywhere. You know, 
we are supposed to have we are supposed to come together to make that demand let there be transparency on that particular body so that Nigeria can move forward. We need competent people to move the affairs of that country very, very well. If you watch closely, you will know our population is not in any way to be compared to that of uh, uh, the people I'm talking about. But you see how they're handling their things. Why? Everything is working. The law there is working. If anybody makes any mistakes, the law takes its course. But in Nigeria, the case is always very, very opposite in a reversed format, you know? We need to make a serious move to make serious changes on that system because that is one of the things that will move the country forward if we really want to move forward as a nation, honestly. I do not want to say much about it. I just uh, decided to uh, kind of use this uh, picture to send a message to that our man, that our man, Yak Mahmoud Yakub, the professional uh, whatever we have in the country, you know. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you so much for sharing our videos. I still remain your man, Maurice Mwesikoba, the top class media. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you.